Yo, it's your boy Cam. You know, I'm at the Coding Face headquarters. I'm from Oklahoma City. Like, you know, I'm real excited being here. Like, this whole little setup is all, it's real amazing. Like, you know, I finally get to see, like, I don't know if you guys watch The Wizard of Oz. I finally see behind the ghetto curtain, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. So, like, and, uh, you know, Oklahoma City, like, it's, I can't believe I made it. Like, you know, this is amazing. Like, finally being here. Like, you know, like, this road trip. Like, I spent 25, 26 hours, you know, on the road. And, like, I just, I'm real excited being here. I'm real excited learning from Joe. And it's just surreal actually getting to see the, the man behind all this operation and finally getting to see the, his face. Like, you know, like, you see him on YouTube, but actually getting to see him and, like, see what he's doing. And, like, he's just doing amazing things. And hopefully, you know, one day I can be at this level, too, you know, and enjoy this, too. So, yeah, Cam, so let the people know how long you've been doing this. When did you start learning how to code? And what drove you to become a developer? Yeah, so I mean, like, I've been learning probably about five years, but I've really been serious, you know, maybe about two and a half, three years. And there's been, you know, bumps in the road. And I think the reason why I want to be a developer is wanting to help my mom and my, my dad out because, you know, my dad got real sick about a couple years ago. That's why I kind of stopped for a little bit. But I want to be able to, you know, pay for my mom's house, be able to provide a better life for my family, you know, if I ever have kids, you know, just set generational wealth instead of just making 45, 50,000 a year and being comfortable because I was talking to my bosses all the time and, you know, when I tell them, hey, I'm trying to be a developer and how much money you can make in the industry, they're like, for real? Like, you can make money like that and don't have to do all this stuff and breaking your, your back and like under, having to be micromanaged by, you know, your, your corporate people and stuff like that. Yeah, I just feel like the sky's the limit. And I've met so many people on this road trip so far that have gave me some game on like thinking bigger and not just having a, a small mindset. You gotta, you gotta have big goals, you gotta have big dreams because if you don't have those goals and dreams, you know, you're not gonna go anywhere. So you, you gotta stay focused on that. Definitely. Now, uh, I want you to let the people know, I mean, what's your journey been like? I mean, when do you start learning, like let's say HTML, CSS, give us like your whole journey. Everything from, you know, from when you started your first website to then from there, uh, doing the mentorship, right? Then from there, now you're doing Lambda, mm -hmm. and then where you see yourself in the future after that. Yeah, so I mean, my journey was, you know, at the start, like, you know, like I started with HTML, CSS, and like, I feel like my biggest issue when I was going to CSS was just doing like responsive design. Like, I don't know about you, but like I was struggling. Like, I just couldn't figure it out all this stuff, whatever, and then I saw Joe's mentorship program, and I was like, man, like that can level me up to the next level, because I feel like I was kind of stuck, but then the mentorship, I kind of like was forced to like have to finish a project at a particular deadline, and like, you know, like, and I was surprised that I got support from the community, the coding face community, because like I didn't think like people would care about what I was doing, I didn't even think I was that good, like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, like, people were, like, real supportive. Like, man, Cam, you're killing it. Like, you know, you're doing big things here. You're, like, you, you're definitely ready to get a job. And Joe, you said that, too. And I was, like, even when people said that, like, I felt like I thought I was ready. But then, like, I started doing interviews and stuff after the mentorship and all that stuff. And, like, I got discouraged. Even though I got interviews, like, I probably only did, like, maybe 20, 30 applications and got, like, a few calls. Which I guess that's a real good, you know, conversion rate, whatever you want to call it. And, but like I did like a PHP interview and I didn't know PHP like I didn't really know like that so I was like I got to like the third interview and they gave me a take home test and I just I was like man I can't pass this test like I don't know anything about PHP and like they wanted a, a front end guy but they gave me a back end test so I was like what the what the heck is this like why am I doing a back end test when you, the interview was front end like it didn't make no sense to me, so I, I pretty much after that point, like I just, uh, you know, I was still coding a little bit, but I just kind of gave up. And then my dad got, my stepdad got real sick, and then that's when I just was like, man, I'm just gonna get a regular job, you know, you know, it's not gonna work out for me. That's it. And then about maybe a year and a half, a year ago, I saw Lambda, and I was like, hmm, like now I can learn some back, some back end stuff and some front end stuff and I can kind of get my skills back to where they need to be and maybe even be on a higher level. So then I did Lambda school and like I'm almost done with the full stack program and I feel like, you know, I know Joe said this all the time on his channel and stuff, whatever. Like he said, man, you were ready. You didn't have to do Lambda school. That may be true, but I feel like I've gotten so many other skills like as I've been learning stuff in Lambda school that I feel like it's going to pay off in the long run. You know, maybe it wasn't worth 20000 I don't know. Like, I probably won't know till I get a job. Like, if I get a job where I'm getting paid $120,000 first out, you know, something crazy like that, 
maybe it was worth it, but I don't know. But I feel like Lambda School is definitely for like, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that do Lambda School that really don't even need to do it. Like I'm talking people that already like are like, sen like senior level developers that be doing Lambda School. But then there's people like me who maybe aren't, didn't need to do it, but maybe it would help them. And then there's other people that don't know anything about code and just need that extra push. And those people, I think Lambda School really helps because, you know, if they knew Lambda School, they probably would have never, you know, even thought about code. Like, I got a couple of friends back home that, you know, like, they probably need something at Lambda School because they just, I don't know. Like, I, I asked them six months ago, I was like, hey, man, you ready? You, you trying to do this? And they're like, nah, man, I, I, I just now started doing HTML and CSS. I said, you've been working six months? You, you still haven't even got past the JavaScript and that stuff? And like, nah, so it's just crazy, like, how, like, motivated or unmotivated people really are. So it's always an interesting thing with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, now, the next thing, where do you see yourself in the next few years? I mean, now that you, I feel like for you, what was stopping you was really that you didn't have uh, the back-end courses. And even at that, like, for the people who's watching this right now, some of you guys may not know that like we do have that at codingphase.com now, but Cam is actually an OG. Cam's been here before I even sold my first course, before I even was doing anything. When I started codingphase.com, we didn't even have any back-end courses, right? So Cam at that moment when he was going for job interviews, there wasn't a platform that had the back-end courses unless he was going to a boot camp or unless he was going to college, right? So Cam definitely had to go his route to make sure he get those skills, right? And that's one of the reasons why I always tell people, people be like, yo, man, Cam is a lambda, da-da-da. And I'm like, bro, when I started this, there was no back-end in, in codingphase.com, right? Lambda was the, the option that was there, right? And Cam freaking, he just been grinding it out. This Things, you know, he get hit with a, uh, a curveball once in a blue moon from life and you got to do what you got to do, right? Now, Cam is definitely getting his skills right now and he's ready for it. So tell us, Cam, I mean, now that you're you're getting to know the front end, the back end, right? What's your next goal, right? What is it that you want to do with your life, you know, right after this? Because I know that's it. In the next month, you're going to get a job. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. The skills is there. You already had a lot of skills coming in. Now with Lambda giving you the back-end skills. Now, what exactly is it that you're going to do? What's your next plan? My next plan is, you know, I've, I've been kind of on the low, like, you know, networking, meeting with different people. And I just want to start, like, doing my own, have my own freelance business. Like, that's like that's the, that's the goal right there. I want to be able to start making money so then I can, you know, maybe a year, two years down the road, I can quit my developer job whenever I get one. And then I can just do this full time, and, you know, and, and enjoy life. Like, you know, like I like traveling, you know, like I feel like everybody got to travel and get out of their state. Like, I don't care if you live in Oklahoma. I don't care if you live in Montana. I don't care if you live in New York. Like, you got to get out of wherever your comfort zone is. Like, you know, because if you don't and you just stay where you're at, like you will never make it any bigger than whatever your friend or whoever it is, it is, you know. But if you actually go out there and meet people like, you know, in Atlanta, San Francisco, Miami, Boulder, like all the different cultures are completely different. So you meet different people, you get to like understand what, why they're doing what they're doing, and you can also build your network because your network is your net worth. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that term. So I feel like that's very important. And just going on the road and meeting these different people, it's been an eye opener. And definitely would go back home and be able to implement some of the stuff and be able to enjoy all the different people that I've met and all the different connections that I made. And I think that's very key. Definitely. Now, as far as the stack, what stack is it that you enjoy the most right now? Uh, I know you're learning with Lambda. What stack is it that you're focusing on? You're like, okay, I really like the stack. The PHP, Node.js, Python. What exactly is it that you're focusing on? Definitely no JS, because I feel like like I want to stay with the JavaScript, like you know everything about JavaScript, because I want to get better and better with my JavaScript skills. Because if you start branching yourself out and doing these different things, like you will, you just limited. I like to be specialized in one particular thing. Like really, right now, I've been learning TypeScript. I've been learning TypeScript and also been learning React Native, which is like really interesting. Because if you got a React Native, you know, if you learn all that stuff and you get a React Native job, you know, build native apps, stuff like that, I feel like that separates you from the pack. Like being a specialist is a lot more important to me than just being someone that's like a jack of all trades, someone that maybe only 
uh, knows a little bit of everything instead of being really good at one particular thing. And that's my goal. Like I feel like everybody, I always recommend people, you know, once you figure out what you're really good at or what you really want to do, just stay focused on that until you get to that level where you can be like, yeah, like I, like I can kill that. Like I, I know everything that is to know about this particular thing. I may not be the best at these other things, but I can get you real, uh, you know, real good, you know, at, at making sure that everything is, is right and everything is looking good for you. Nice. Now, as far as JavaScript, what problems that you faced in the beginning? Like you felt like, man, this was hard or was it just easy? You picked it up right away. What can you tell the people? Nah, like I feel like when I did Lambda School, we have like this thing called a Lambda Challenge. And we have three JavaScript questions you got you get asked. It's kind of like a whiteboard thing. They ask, they ask you three questions, you got 40 minutes to do them. I'm kind of giving people a little inside tip on kind of how it is in Lambda School. But uh, once you get those three questions, you got to pass them within 40 minutes. And I think the first three times I took the test, I got everything down to the last question. And I failed it. First three times. And like, it was something really stupid. Like, and then I, the fourth time, but you can take it as many times as you want. Fourth time I finally passed it, and I was like, yeah. But then I kind of understood like what my weaknesses were as far as JavaScript because it was the same question that I was struggling with, which is mainly like callbacks and stuff like that. Like, I just, I don't know, like it was just very uh, hard for me to understand that in the uh, prototypical inheritance. like. Like those two things, especially, and even classes a little bit, like I feel like those three things right there, like I just, I don't know, like I just, I couldn't understand it and like I had to go over it. And then once they went over it again in the actual like course, they did a pre-course work and then you have to do the actual course, like I feel like I actually un finally understood it because once you get to like React and stuff, they pretty much go over the same thing that you went over with vanilla uh, JavaScript. It's like the same thing, like once you understand JavaScript and one thing, I mean, because React is just JavaScript, that's all it is. But it's, it's once you understand it in like regular React, I mean regular JavaScript, then with React it's just, you're just adding on to what you already learned with vanilla JavaScript, which makes it like so much easier to understand it. Because I, I now understood why people tell you not to jump into React right away, learn, learn vanilla JavaScript, learn ES6 uh, syntax, and then once you learn that, then you can get to React and be like, ah, oh, this is easy. Because, you know, uh, React does a lot of ES6 syntax, so like, then you're not completely lost when you get to arrow functions and stuff like that, because that was another thing that like, I know it's not required, but then that's when I was like, okay, now I understand why people use arrow, uh, arrow functions instead of using the regular, you know, function uh, syntax. So like, those are like the real things that I just was like struggling the longest with. Yeah, no, that's not. Now, uh, so as somebody who has been here in the community for a long time, you wanna, I consider one of the original members of CodingPhase.com. I mean, what are the benefits that you see uh, from CodingPhase.com in the community? What do you feel like, and why should somebody sign up, or why should somebody even be part of the community? What benefits do you see out of it? I mean, you kind of answer the question for yourself, really, because I mean, really, the, the, the best, thing, best thing about the community is being really the community. Because I feel like everybody knows each other, everybody has each other's backs, and like you feel like you belong. Like there's a lot of different communities out there I've seen that people have. There's a lot of members, right? But a lot of those members, like they're not active or they're not really like they don't really help each other out. Like you, you know, on Twitter or Slack or those other you know different communities out there, they'll be like, oh, you know, I need help with this thing, and you'll spend like a month trying to get the answer, and then no one ever answer. With this community, like you have someone that will literally be able to answer your question within minutes, maybe even hours, you know, if it's like a real busy day. But someone will be able to answer your question right away as opposed to you having to wait a while to get your question answered. And then if you have to wait a while, you go to Stack Overflow where they'll like downvote you to death because, you know, like I don't know about you, but when I first went to Stack Overflow, like I got downvoted because I asked a question I thought was real hard. People were like, oh, the answer's already up here. Oh, this has already been used by someone else. Like, I'm like, you know, just answer my question. Like, I got a, I got a question. Like, you know, you were a, a, a beginner at some point, so why don't you just help me? It, it's just like, I, I just, I don't get why, like, other communities out there or other, like, platforms where they, they aren't really, like, uh, helpful towards beginners because everyone at the beginning, like, they had questions on stuff that now you're like, oh, man, why did I have an issue with that? But you, you, I feel like this community is one of the best out there, maybe even the best out there, because you know you're helpful, you're really accessible. You know, people can reach out to you, and you know, and and they feel like a family. Like it feels like one big happy family. Like we, like we can chill, you know, hang out, you know, meet each other in person. And I've already met a couple people from the Coding Face community already, and hopefully, I'd like to meet all y'all at some point. 
but I just really thankful that I was involved with this early on and I'm still involved and I hopefully uh, everybody will will you know feel the same way that I feel right now definitely definitely now the last question that we want to know is are you sponsored by Samson no, 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 I got this shirt from like Goodwill, man, like, I was like, man, like, I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on shirts, you know, I'm not trying to iron all these different shirts and stuff, because you know when you pack it on the road, like, you don't have time to be doing all that stuff, wearing these, <laughs> you know, we got to crack yeah. some jokes for the community, you know how it is, kid. <laughs> but I love yeah. me my galaxy, though. <laughs> but yeah, man, now, Cam, the last thing that I was going to say, um, any advice you want to give to anybody that's starting right now as a developer today? What would you say to them? Yeah, like, I mean, if you're just starting, like, you just got to just stay at it, man. And just have a, a game plan. Like, not, like, don't have a five-year game plan. I don't know if you guys ever read those books or, you know, watch those little podcasts. But, you know, you got to have a five-year game plan. No, like, don't have a five-year game plan. Have a, a weekly game plan every single week. Like, you know, have something real short so then you're always focused on that game plan because once you have that weekly game plan, you'll be accountable and you'll have people that will account for you. Like, go to the Coding Face community every week, you know, like maybe, I don't know if there's like a tab or something that we can do that on where you can have goals. And every week, post something on there. Oh, I got to do this by the end of this week. Oh, I got to do this at the end of this week. Once you have those goals and that, that end, and you also have an end goal too. But don't be focused on the end goal just yet. Focus on your short-term goals. Then your long-term goal will hopefully get, you'll get there eventually. But if you stay focused on those particular things, you will succeed, you'll be successful, and you'll eventually have that developer job if you're trying to do that. If you're trying to be a business person, that's cool too. But definitely have a goal. like you know, And, and don't listen to anyone else. Don't listen to your friends. Don't listen to anyone that will deter you because if you listen to those people, you'll never make it. You know, you got to have tunnel vision. You got to be focused on the, on the end goal. Like I said before, you got to stay, you got to get out. You got to get out of wherever you're at. Like if you're in Oklahoma or Montana or, you know, any small state, or even a big state, you got to just travel the world. You got to see different cultures. You got to you know, network with different people. And then once you do that stuff, You'll be cool. You'll be golden. And then you'll, you know, one day you look at back on these these different journeys that you made, and you'll be like, oh man, I can't believe I did all this stuff. But I'm thankful that I did. Thankful I was with the community, and I was able to do all these things that wasn't even thought possible back in the day. So yeah, that's the thing I would tell people to do. Now, do you recommend people going to codingphase.com and and taking the courses there? I mean, have you tried codingphase.com? Have you ever signed up to it? Yeah, like I'm still I'm still a member. Like, you know, I'm going to Lambda, but I'm still a member. I got to support my boy. And I did a, a few of those courses. Like, I did like a lot of the things from HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I even took uh, his React course. And that was a real good course. I haven't took the updated one yet, but I'm going to get to that. You know, I'm going to check that out because I know, I don't know if you ever mess with React hooks and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But that's real cool. So, yeah, I definitely uh, I recommend, you know, Joe, uh, uh, you check out Coding Phase. And, you know, anyone that, that is thinking about it, you know, just do it. Just do it. Yeah, definitely, man. For sure, we we I got a new version of the React course, which has all of the new APIs from the new and latest uh, React courses, and we got Redux. We got the whole shebang in there, so it's pretty cool. Definitely, you gotta check that out, guys. But hey, man, I want to say thank you to your boy Cam for coming through, man. I really appreciate it, Cam. Uh, you the man. Yeah, coming out definitely. here all this way, hanging out with me and my family for July Fourth. Right, it's a great experience. You know, one of these days I'm gonna pass by Oklahoma City, you know, pull out the couch for me, throw me out there. Hey, and you know, we're gonna have fun, you know what I mean? So, shout out to Cam for coming out here and shout out to every single one of you guys for watching this video. <laughs> it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codeface.com, with your boy Cam. Hey. hey, see you later. Peace. <laughs>